Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a haul of the new Happy Planner budget stuff. So I got the mini 12 month budget planner, which is this one, brand new, hasn't been opened yet. And then, probably oddly, I also got the planner companion for the budget, which is in the classic size. So they'll go through both of them. Okay, so this is the mini planner. This is the cover, Hustle Now, Play Later. And this is how we look on the inside. Whew. All right, let's see if we can get this off. There we go. We have the little welcome sheet. But then we also have some stickers because this is an undated planner. So you can start whenever you want. You got space to write your name. And then here's where it really starts. So here on the left hand side, we have a slot for financial goals. Your budget for the month, you would put the month there. Things you need to remember and unexpected spending that you may have done. This is the first tab. We have a monthly view, once again undated, so you will fill this in with your um, days according to what month you're going by. And then this is how it looks. Okay, so we see we have month of, and you will put your income, the day it comes in, and the amount, and your totals for your income, your expenses, and whatever is left. And then we have expense tracker pages. So, of course, you put your date, the item, whatever category you want to put it under, the amount that it costs, and whether you paid it or not, because some things could be credit. On the other hand, we have a savings tracker, and it tracks the date, the account you put it on, the activity, and the balance. And we have an accounts and debts category as well. On the right hand side there's a challenge and no spend so I think each month has a different challenge if I'm not mistaken right so this one is your weekly expenses so you have a few sheets of these you put whatever you want to put here I personally will wait this out as I go along and at the bottom you can know where you did really well to get a gold star and what you could do ne better next time. And then you have a grid sheet that you can put notes on which I think is pretty handy. So you can put your notes on here for whatever you need to improve or if there's something that you wanted to write down that happened during the month that didn't suit you in the spread. And of course it repeats. So this is the next tab. We have the same pages. And I don't know why I said, did I say expense? This is meant to be like a bill checklist, I, am, I believe. Sorry about that. This month has a $100 challenge. And it repeats, so I'll just go through the tabs and the challenge so you can see. This one says no cards, do not use your credit cards for at least two weeks. DIY, save cash by making a few of your own cleaning supplies. This one is make your coffee or your tea at home. I hear many people say that works well for them. I make my tea at home. We don't have Starbucks. No online shopping. That's the challenge there. This one is bring your own lunch. So working on meal prep. This one is deposit every $5 bill that comes your way. 
which is cool. Honestly, this is really pretty. You have one um, where you think about, I guess that's being more mindful, thinking about what you're buying. Oh, this is cute. Uh, family activity, activities that are free or low in cost. Reevaluating your monthly subscriptions. And last challenge would be cash only. Of course, you can move these around however you like. You don't have to stick to it. But essentially, this is the mini version. It's pretty much the same way back. Okay, so we have the Planner Companion Pack, and this is also in budget. This is classic size. I think all the Planner Companions are classic size. I just show you my mini, so clearly I don't have a classic budget planner to put that in. I wanted the mini for convenience. It's small and it's easy to take around, but we'll see because I think there's some pages in here that I can incorporate otherwise. First off, we get this little intention bracelet. It's pink. I don't know if I'm going to wear it, but hey, you have it. And then it comes in this storage folder. So this is what it looks like. Let us start with the envelopes. We get four plastic envelopes. So the first one says, know your worth. Small's progress is still progress. If not now, then when? And I can and I will. And let me show you these ones are the same as the Teresa Collins one. That came in that Be Happy box. So these are handy if you're doing cash envelopes. And we have a whole set of papers. So let me take those out. Put it in the folder. Oops, my hair is getting everywhere. Okay, cool. So at the back we have this wet erase board so you can write on this. You get one of these and it has expenses. You can see your weekly expenses, what bills you need to pay, needs and wants. And at the back there's space for you to write. We also get a folder, which is one pocket folder. You can put your stuff in there, very important. Repeats on the back. And we have this vision board. So this one is asking about your short term and your long term goals. And on the flip side, there's space for you to speak about what you're saving for. So you have four slots and some space to write. You also have more slots on this side and a savings jar. It's pretty cool. I dig it. Alright, so we have budget planning paper and I believe we get a few of these. Alright, let's just start with the whole stack because I'm not sure where it's supposed to begin. Okay, so this is a financial goal sheet. We have next month, next quarter, next six months, and next year. And you will put which year you are saving for. And on the flip side, you have a map of where you want to be in one year, two years, five years, and ten years. And then we have bill schedules. So this is kind of like a monthly view. And you can put in where your bills are due. And you should get at least 12 months worth. All in different colors. You get debt repayment papers as well. 
and this is to help you keep track of your debt and your interest rates and when you've paid off. I think this is really cool. You get four on a page. So you have one of those. Next we have a savings tracker sheet and you can divide up what you're saving for. There's two sides so you can use this for two different goals. And it repeats on the back so that's four goals. And then we have no spend trackers. And you can say what month it is and what you're not going to spend on. So this is up to you. You decide what you are, you know, going to limit yourself on. And of course, an accountability section for you to report back. And once again, you get enough for, you should get enough for 12 months. And we have budget review sheets also. So this is like a kind of like a year at a glance where you can see your income, your expenses, and what you saved for the given year. And you have a section for notes. And then we have some note papers. And this is just really pretty. It goes back with the whole color scheme and it says notes and things. So you write down your notes. And this doesn't have to be limited to budget related stuff either. You can just use this as filler paper as you go along if you so choose. Alright, so thanks so much for watching this video and taking the time out to, you know, stay with me and watch this video. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe for more and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from when as I post. And in the description box below, I have a whole set of referral links in case you want to try anything. You can get yourself a discount. And that's going to be it for this haul. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.